Hello, and welcome to this Paxit instructional video. Paxit software is a powerful image database that allows tagging important information to images as metadata housed in database fields. You can set up how many fields to use, what they will be called, and how they will be structured. How that database layout is set up is the subject of this video. The database layout screen is accessed by navigating to File, Setup, Database, Setup Database. Choose the collection to define a database layout for, and the screen pops up allowing you to accomplish the task. Each column in this table has a different function. In the first column, we type in the names. This is straightforward and takes the place of the field one, field two labels that are there by default. Note that if you need to add more fields, use the Add Field button. And if you don't need to use all of the default fields, you can subtract from the end of the list with the Subtract Field button. Lookup tables are designated in the next column. A lookup table is simply a drop-down list of entries for users to choose from when they go to fill data into this field. A drop-down list of choices can aid the workflow by keeping people consistent in their entries and keeping them spelling words correctly. It also narrows the choices to only those things in the list, so spurious entries are avoided. Our shift field lends itself well to a lookup table, so we'll specify that option by choosing yes in the drop-down list. Doing so activates the configure lookup table button to the right. Click this button to create your list. The operator field will also be a drop-down list, and in this case, we will expand the functionality a bit. First, we'll make it editable. An editable lookup table is one where the user may choose from the entries in the drop-down list, or they may type something else in on the fly. In fact, Paxit can have the new entry that is typed on the fly to be automatically added to the drop-down list so that it becomes part of the lookup table moving forward. Another feature adding flexibility to the Paxit database structure is the ability to link fields. We'll take advantage of that here because we want to link the list of operators to the shift that they work. That way, instead of always displaying a lengthy list of all operators, the choices displayed are narrowed to only those operators that are associated with the shift that is chosen. To do this, enter the field number to link the entry to and the matching condition in that field that determines if the entry is used in the current drop-down list. The next column to consider in our setup is the type of data that will be handled by the field. By default, database fields are formatted as text fields. With text fields, any alphanumeric character may be used to fill in the metadata. In our list of fields, for example, the comment field and some other fields will surely be textual. Other options for formatting include date fields. When set for date, the field entry is not handled as text per se, but ordered and sorted as a calendar date. Number fields are also available, which format the data as a number that may be used in math operations. And finally, there are yes, no, or two condition fields. Note that for the yes, no field, the use lookup designation is automatically chosen and the number of entries is restricted to only the two conditions. You may edit the two items in the lookup table to reflect what makes sense for how this field will be used. For example, it may be yes, no, or true, false, or pass, fail, and so on. Finally, we determine if there will be a minimum and maximum number of characters to be used for a field. By default, the min value is set as zero, meaning there is no minimum. If you want to define a field as a required field in order to save an image, then it may be set in the min column. A certain number of characters may also be specified, requiring not only an entry for the field, but an entry of a certain length. The max number of characters is by default set at 80, but it may be expanded to 120. Side note, if even longer comments are needed, a second comment field may be created, or you may want to check out the notepad feature associated with each image in the Paxit collection. 
If you will be making measurements on the images, the system must be calibrated to the optical conditions. So a field should be created with a lookup table for the various magnification entries so that any entry may be calibrated. Click on the Measurement Field button to open a dialog allowing you to designate the particular field that will be used for your calibrations. And be sure to click Save when done. Once your database layout is configured, click OK to take a look at the behavior of the layout by displaying an image's ID tag. There is a handy Type column in the displayed ID tag that allows you to see the type of data that should be entered. Whether an entry is a required field, whether database fields are linked, which field is used for calibrations, and more. This is a good opportunity to check whether any linked fields are behaving as intended. And that editable fields are behaving as intended as well. It's not uncommon for more than one Paxit collection to be used on a machine or for more than one workstation in a lab to be using Paxit. If a database layout needs to be duplicated elsewhere, there is an easy process to accomplish this. Once defined, simply use the export layout function to send an LYT file to a location of your choosing. Then use import layout on the other machine or drive to duplicate the entire layout in the new location. Once the database fields are set up, there is a special data tab in Options and Preferences that allow the auto-populating of certain fields and other special functions. Check out information on how to set up preferences for more details. Thank you for watching. We at MIS are thankful for you as a customer, and we look forward to serving your lab's imaging needs.